Come and check out this review of the Traveler Top by Ellie and Mac Paris. Hi YouTube, I'm Crystal of CrystalSellsAndStuff.com. Welcome back to the channel where I share pattern reviews, sewing tips and techniques, and other fun content every week. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my review of the Ellie and Mac Traveler Top. But before we get into that, I want to make sure you guys all remember to stay to the end because I have a fun announcement. Alright, so let's go ahead and get into the review. So the Traveler Top is a really cute uh, top pattern designed for mid to heavier weight uh, knit fabrics. So the fabric suggestions are Ponty Knits, Sweater Knits, Hachi Knits, as well as Cable Knits and Stretch fleece so a lot of options for you for this pattern so now this pattern comes in sizes extra extra small to 7xl and it's designed for a bust size of 29 inches to 67 inches a waist of 23 and a half inches to 63 inches as well as for hips of 33 and a half inches to 72 inches so there is a great size range for every so it's out there. Now the instructions are really well designed. They're in bright color photos and step-by-step -step photos for you to follow along. And the photos really give even more details on the in individual step-by-step -step instructions. So for example, if you're making the cuff, it says sew the sides of the cuff down. But if you don't know which direction to sew it in, just go ahead and check out the pit photos involved because they show you exactly which way to go ahead and fold the cuff in and then turn it in half in order to get the cuff to be the lengthwise. So I really like how the, in, the photographs show more, even more detail to the instructions. And in addition, there's also a video clip in included in the pattern that you could just go ahead and click from within the pattern to go ahead and make it up using the video and in the instructions there's also a glossary of sewing terms that was that is very helpful for beginners out there so i really like how the pattern is laid out so now let me tell you about the pattern pieces so there aren't a lot of pattern pieces for this pattern so you have your front bodice cut once, then you have your back bodice piece cut once on the fold, and then both of those are cut on the fold, and then you have a sleeve, a long sleeve uh, piece, and this piece is um, optional, so you can have it short sleeves instead, and so you can um, omit the sleeve if you don't want to use that, and just hem this part, and it'll be short sleeves, and then you also have your cuff piece, and then you have your options for the neckline. So you have a cowl neckline, which is one piece cut twice. So you have an outer piece as well as a lining piece. And then you also have an optional hood that has an outer piece as well as a lining piece. And then there's an optional, just a plain neckband version. So a lot of options here. I can see you even like doing some kind of color blocking with the hood or with the cow so you can have like if say if you wanted to do a black and white version you can do the outside outer portion black and then the inside white to bring that out um, a lot, lot of options you could also probably color block the cuffs that would be really cute as well so a lot of options for playing around with this pattern so I really like all the different options that you get with this pattern so now let me tell you about the version that I sew so in the comments of my Black Friday haul video that I did in December, one of you all commented that when you sewed this pattern, it came out a little bit big. So I was between sizes. I was between a small and a medium. And so I decided to go ahead with the small. And I really like how it turned out in the size small um, because I think it's just, just the perfect amount of ease for me. And um, for reference, I'm a 36 bus. And so I like the way it turned out on me and then the other thing that I changed was I brought raised the waistline by just an inch because I'm 5'1 and the pattern is designed for a person that is 5'4 so make sure you take that into account when you're sewing it up 
the directions, like I said, were really easy to follow. The only thing that I think you should know is that the seam allowance is only one quarter inch, which is a lot smaller than what we're used to sewing if you're used to sewing the big four patterns, which which have a five eighth inch seam allowance when you're sewing it up. So just take note of that and make sure um, you don't do a too wide seam allowance when you're sewing this up because the seam allowance is only a quarter inch. And then the fabric that I use is this beautiful teal uh, floral sweater knit that I picked up in New York during my first trip to New York with my husband um, to the fashion district. And I bought this from a place called Diane Fabrics. I'm not sure if they're still in business, but I really love how that I finally, finally sewed it up. And it just took me forever to go ahead and cut this fabric just because the fabric is designed where it's a border print where it has flowers at the top and flowers at the bottom and then a big green space in the middle um or teal <laughs> in the middle and so i just it took me a while to figure out how i wanted to go ahead and sew this up and so i'm glad i decided on this pattern i really like how it turned out in this lovely sweater knit and i love the flower floral print on the fabric, I believe it's probably irises um, is the name of the flower. I'm not sure. If you know, let me know. But I love how they turned out there. It's just such a beautiful, beautiful print. And it looks great. And I like that the fact that I used the cow, I'm able to use a little bit of the purple part of the flowers and a little bit of the yellow part of the flowers on the cow portion. And then I was able to use it again on the cuffs and place it also on the sleeves um, to get it all to match up and everything so I could play with the design and get as much detail as I could out of the fabric. So I did cut everything out on a single layer when I cut it out because I wanted to make sure everything lined up and then that I could get the most out of the floral print and I love how it came out. So now let me share with you some quick pics and twirls of me wearing this cute top. So that is my review of the Traveler Top by Ellie and Mac Patterns. Go ahead and check them out. They often have a lot of cool sales on their website, including every Wednesday they have a Wacky Wednesday uh, sale where they give they have pattern deals for selling patterns for a dollar, as low as a dollar. So go ahead and check them out. I highly suggest this pattern company, and I'm I'm really loving how this this is my first time sewing with them, and I'm really happy with how this turned out. So the last thing that I wanted to share with you is that on Saturday, January 16th, T of Crumpus T and Sewing and I will be going live will be going live here on YouTube and we'd love it if you come and join us for a fun chat where we share our birthday dresses and what we're up to sewing these days. And so we'd love it if you all would come in and join us for the live so all right that is all everything i wanted to share with you today i hope you all are having a great day and until next time take care bye